happy friday and welcome back so today i want to talk to you guys about a few things if you are new to the channel welcome if you are returning glad to have you back um today's friday and it is my pre-birthday celebration week ish 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 so my birthday sunday i will be turning 31 and i'm super excited um about that process because over the last few years about five to six years i have been on a growth emotional roller coaster there's been a lot of stuff that has occurred um, a lot of things i've been thinking about and a lot of things i'm like planning out for the future so i'm super excited i'm gonna put some lotion on my hands real quick <clears throat> super excited about um you can see charlie in the background maybe he's in his bed but anyway um i got a few things i want to talk to you about first things first i'm gonna go over some new um tips and new updates for loving happiness okay so i'm getting ready i just washed my face um i'm gonna be using i brought a sample pack from sephora with the tatcha essence um and some other items now i do have the full size cleanser um that i did purchase however i'm testing out the other products on my face just to make sure that it actually works um so i'm using the essence so it's almost essence is almost almost like a toner for your skin and as you can tell, I'll get a little bit closer. My skin looks fairly good. I ate a little bit bad this week because we had a meeting at work and you know how that go. But anyway, um, so I used the toner first and then I'm going to be using <coughs> their Violet C um, Brightening Serum. So I just put um, like a little bit on my hand here like just a little dab there so it's like a little bit they say one to three pumps but you know anyway and then i just put this in now if you want you can moisturize it up down and if you want to like get kind of like all in the cracks and crevices and then a lot of times we don't allow one product to develop into the skin before we start adding others so i got a little fan so that I can kind of like dry that up and let it go into my pores before I start layering my other products on. All right, so that's that. Okay, and then next I go into my skincare routine with a um, moisturizer. So I have two. The water cream um, is a sample size and then also the dewy skin cream. Dewy skin cream. Me personally, I've tried both of them over the past few months and the water cream was nice until a little bit later in the summer where my skin is a little bit drier. The dewy cream is moisturizing. It's a little bit thicker than the water cream. So for me, if you have drier skin, you're going to do dewy. If you're more natural or more normal natural skin without any dry areas, you're going to do the water cream. So I use this one. Um, and then I'm going to put after my moisturizer, I'm actually going to put on my SPF because that's the one thing I learned about LA is that you need SPF like every single day. So as you can see, moisturize all into the skin. It gets deep down in there. And I just want to give y'all a quick peek into my eyebrows so my eyebrows have been flourishing this is all me i do have still some sparse areas within like the ends here but overall and then again over here you could tell like right in this area here it's a little bit sparse so i've been using for those of you who've been following my story about my my brows um i've been using this um haitian black castor oil so what i'll normally do at night which i haven't been doing the last two nights that's why i'm like gonna do it right now i just put this on the actual brow area that i need to grow in particular just a little bit there and then i either use a q-tip or the actual brush to kind of like brush it in now this castor oil does smell like coffee beans or some sort of variation so that's why i like to do it at night if i'm wearing it out in the during the day i kind of let it dry before i like go out and like be around people because it does has a very a very prominent scent so anywho i'll let that sit 
Um, I do not wash it off. I let it just go. And then I add my moisturizer. So right now I'm using the rest of my Murad Essential C moisturizer. However, once I'm done with this, which will probably be like within the next week, I'm going to be getting the Super Goop. I love Super Goop. I love Super Goop. Um, and they come out with a clear one. So I'm super excited about that. So with my moisturizer, I like to warm it up on my hands first. That kind of tones down the uh, white sensation or the white overcast. And then that way when you put it on, it's actually just uh moisturizing base and not just that white film so i do not want to wipe off what it is for my eyebrows so yeah and there you have it Okay, so the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about, because I'm not doing any makeup today, I'm going to give my, my face a rest, um, is lip care for the day. So I have been using Laneige for almost three years, uh, two and a half, maybe three years, and I found that they had a lip gloss. So this is a sleeping mask, and then you're supposed to wear this during the day. This was bomb. I absolutely love it, and I'll still continue to use it. But I found one that I think is a little bit more potent and better for me. So I have been trying Bite. This is their Agave Lip Balm. And I have to say that this one is good. It has um, some consistency to it. And if you're just now starting out, and this, this may truly work for you. If your skin is a little bit drier and you need more of a penetrating, moisturizing boost, it's going to be Bite. So Bite comes in a little capsule like this. And as you can see, I didn't even put it on that much, but it gives me like a gloss, like a shine. That you don't necessarily get with Laneige um however it, it this combo together if you use this together does work so this typically is what I use at night and sometimes I re this is a sleeping mask so I use it at night but this balm I normally use like during the day however I found bite so I've been using this at night this combo at night so I put the lip mask on and then maybe add some gloss if I need it and then the balm I use during the day now I am truly interested in trying their I think it's like their weekly scrub or their lip scrub um so I'm going to be trying their lip scrub within the next month probably a few weeks um and i'll give you an update on the comparison between laneige and bite okay so we're back so a couple of updates for love and happiness number one i updated the website with a few more collections we do also have our summer sale going on um it is our clearance sale and those items will be final price no returns no exchanges um in addition, we have our fall collection that will be dropping the first day of fall will be September the 23rd. So we're gearing up for that. The first thing that we have up for the fall launch is a fox fur vest. The fox fur vest comes in two colors, a light ivory and a taupe with a brown tint to it. And it has deep pockets. So I'm super excited to share that with you guys. I'll be doing a review video on that fit next week. Um, also, we have have new packing materials so I'm super excited about the process of loving happiness packaging so for me when I first started I first started with USPS which is not a problem uh, but the boxes for me were a little bit clunky for a lot of the things that I was shipping out and the prices were like crazy expensive so i went to a box vendor um and got boxes personalized boxes however the process for those boxes are about um about two to three weeks which again if you're shipping out items pretty regularly the overtime lap between the boxes arriving and your shipping orders coming in you kind of have a little bit of uh, leeway there or like wiggle room that you don't have boxes so then I went to a separate vendor with this just plain boxes and I actually like that process a little bit better so um, we have earrings we have sunglasses we have all type of sec um, accessories and trinkets but 
the one thing that i went and got is updated cards for the earrings so it has our logo on it love and happiness and then on the back it has our social media handles our address and our email which you can't see really on camera because it's too a little bit too light but you can see it back there a little bit and then we have boxes for our um earrings if they don't have a um if they don't have a case like this we have boxes and then uh necklace boxes so ideally <laughs> your items will be in here like this so this is a necklace um we're st i'm still waiting on my necklace containers or holders that look like this but essentially um they're all gonna go into a packaging velvet packaging um so your items will go in like this like so and then you have that really cute protective case that you can kind of reuse. So I'm really interested and into eco-friendly products, services, and things like that. That's going to be better for the environment, better for health, and that you can reuse. So we're transitioning now. Love and Happiness is transitioning now into more eco-friendly approach to packing materials. So all of our boxes now are eco-friendly, recyclable, um, sourced from sustainable companies and also will be uh improving over time so i'm super excited about that so again let me just go back to loving happiness now has a chat feature so when you're ordering items and or you have questions while you're on the website because a lot of you will dm me separately or text me separately or message me separately about items so the restocking process goes as follows Traditionally, we'll only house a few items of each quantity. So let me just give you an example. We have mantra inspired bracelets. So for these bracelets, I normally get one of each. So one silver, one rose gold, one gold. Um, in the future, I will house more of those. However, you know, it's easier for me to get one of each because I'm not sure. Um, I took a poll earlier in the year um, trying to get an idea of you guys is preference if you like silver, gold or rose gold. So that can kind of like narrow it down. But um, again, it's such a wide variety of what you guys want and what you guys don't want, what you need and what you don't need. So for me, I just buy one of each. So a lot of times um, the website will be sold out of a few items because there's only one or two of them so if it's something that you really want i'm not opposed to going down to the market and getting it for you or ordering it directly from the vendor that's not a problem you just have to let me know what you guys are anticipating what you guys are expecting um customer service for love and happiness is my main priority so i don't want people to think that you can't reach out to me i don't want people to think that you can't email me and get more information about when items will be restocked I try not to go too long without having an item restocked. What I'll normally do if it's taking a little bit longer is I'll take it down off the website and then put it back up when it's available or I'll keep you guys updated on either Instagram or Facebook. So that's a little bit um, of feedback with that. Um, moving forward, this stuff will come in bulk. So um, for the vest, it'll be like six of those. So it'll be a little bit more of a quantity for you guys to order. Um, we have some faux fox um slippers that are coming in for the holiday season or gift guides that i'm gonna put together um, for you guys so gift guides what you guys need to do and how you need to prepare for holiday shopping um so again everything is really centered around easy friendly budget conscious but it's also you know um I like unique pieces for you guys who know me personally. I love unique pieces. I love things that everybody's not doing. I love to just have just one offs. So a lot of the stuff on the website you'll see as just one offs. Um, I'm not into being like any other boutique or any other Instagram account. So a lot of the stuff I'll look at and I'll be like, oh, I can really do that. Um, uh, so I hope that that gives you guys some a little bit more feedback on what love and happiness represents and why we're doing what we're doing. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek of the new love uh necklace so i did showcase this on the website hopefully you guys can see this so um 
I have on the small one in silver um, and I have a larger one in gold online so if you guys are interested in shopping that I only have one left um so I'm super excited oh I did also get in this new style of glasses it's super cute I cannot wait to rock these this weekend but anyway uh thank you guys for tuning in and I hope to see you soon